Imagine a world where the ground under your feet is not solid earth, but a seething molten sea of rock. Picture a planet so intensely close to its sun that its surface temperatures can melt stone. Now, what if scientists discovered that this fiery world, seemingly inhospitable and stark, harbored an atmosphere? A thin but significant shroud of gases, possibly akin to those found on our own Earth. Could this finding challenge our understanding of what makes a planet capable of supporting an atmosphere? What mysteries and secrets could such a planet reveal about the cosmos? In the vastness of space, 41 light years away in the constellation Cancer, orbits an extraordinary planet known as 55 Cancer E. This world, also affectionately dubbed Janssen, is a super-Earth, a type of exoplanet that straddles the size between Earth and the larger gas giants like Neptune. Janssen's dimensions are impressive. It boasts nearly twice the diameter of our planet and a slightly greater density, suggesting a composition rich in the rocky materials familiar to our solar system's terrestrial planets. However, 55 Cancer E is anything but typical. Its proximity to its star is a mere 1 25th the distance between Mercury and the Sun, subjecting it to extreme conditions. The planet's surface, scientists hypothesize, is likely a vast ocean of bubbling magma, with temperatures so high that rock exists in a perpetual liquid state. Such closeness also implies that 55 Cancer E is tidally locked presenting a constant day side to its star, while its night side remains shrouded in endless darkness. The mystery of 55 Cancer E deepens when considering its potential atmosphere. For years, the question of whether this molten world could retain any atmospheric gases, despite the relentless stellar radiation and wind from its sun, has puzzled astronomers. The intrigue surrounding this planet grew as initial studies, particularly those utilizing the now-retired Spitzer Space Telescope, hinted at an atmosphere rich in volatile compounds like oxygen, nitrogen, and carbon dioxide. Yet, there remained a chance that the planet might instead be enveloped by merely a thin vapor of rock, a scenario where elements like silicon and iron would dominate in gaseous form. The turning point in this astronomical detective story came with the intervention of NASA's James Webb Space Telescope, JWST. The JWST, equipped with its advanced instrumentation, including a near-infrared camera, NIRCAM, and the Mir Infrared Instrument, MIRI, was poised to push the boundaries of how we study exoplanets. Through a technique known as secondary eclipse spectroscopy, where the light from the planet is measured during its orbit behind and next to the star, scientists were able to dissect the light into its component wavelengths, searching for clues hidden in the infrared spectrum. The first surprising revelation from the JWST data was the temperature of 55 Cancer E. If the planet had no atmosphere, or just a veil of vaporized rock, temperatures on the day side would be expected to soar around 4,000 degrees Fahrenheit. However, measurements indicated a significantly lower temperature of approximately 2,800 degrees Fahrenheit. This discrepancy suggested that something on the planet, likely an atmosphere rich in volatiles, was redistributing energy from the day side to the night side more efficiently than molten rock alone could. Further analysis reinforced this hypothesis. The NIRCAM data revealed a distinctive dip in the spectrum between 4 and 5 microns, indicating less light at these wavelengths reaching the telescope. This pattern suggested the presence of an atmosphere containing gases like carbon monoxide or carbon dioxide, which are known to absorb light in this part of the spectrum. Such findings pointed to a volatile-rich atmosphere, contrasting sharply with the barren, vaporized rock scenario previously considered. The composition of 55 Cancer E's atmosphere researchers propose is likely not a remnant of its formation, but rather a dynamic and continuously replenished layer resulting from the magma ocean below. This secondary atmosphere, bubbling out from the molten surface, hints at processes that might also have occurred on the early Earth, Venus, or Mars, which are believed to have once harbored similar magma oceans. While the conditions of 55 Cancer E are far too harsh for life as we know it, the planet offers a unique laboratory for studying the interactions between atmospheres, surfaces, and planetary interiors. Understanding these dynamics not only sheds light on the formation and evolution of planets within our solar system, but also informs our search for habitable worlds elsewhere in the galaxy. 
as scientists continue to unravel the secrets of 55 Cancer E through further observations and analysis, each discovery brings us closer to answering fundamental questions about the cosmos. What makes a planet capable of holding on to an atmosphere, and under what conditions can such environments arise?